Hello. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, so it's been an honor to be here. Uh, so my name is Sean. I'm proud to represent uh, Aura's technology today. So uh, today we're going to share our advanced cooling on the liquid, uh, liquid cooling systems and also our latest uh, design on the Coplay. Yeah. OK. So uh, for some of you, this might be the first time you know about Aura's. So let me take a moment to introduce who we are. So we are a Taiwanese-based company. So for the past two decades, we are dedicated into the thermal solution uh, development. So that's what we do day in and day out. And I hope uh, today's speech uh, can give you a clear idea of what the path we are going to, through. So as we all know that the data center are pushing the hardware to its new limits. Uh, so the demand for the liquid system that is sufficient and scalable is greater than before, than ever. So what we would like to show you today is uh, what we're developing at the Aura's technology. And without further ado, let me introduce our expert, uh, Ethan. Yeah. Uh, Ethan is going to go through the detail of the technical uh, uh, design and the performance. And before I step up, I would like to introduce uh, invite you all to our booth after the session. Uh, we can discuss more detail um, for, the, for the cooling demand that you need. OK, Ethan, take over. OK, thanks, Sean. <coughs> so good, good morning, everyone. My name is Ethan. And I'm an R&D supervisor. So today, I'm so excited to talk about our liquid cooling system solution for the cloud AI computing center. Before we start, let me introduce our company first. So we are a professional thermal management company established in 1999. And for the past 25 years, we have specialists in this area. We offer a wide range of thermal solutions like air cooling, liquid cooling, and immersion cooling. And our product covers everything from a component to the whole system level, such as IHS, heat pipe, VC, 3D VC, CoPlay, CDU, RPU, SICA, Manifold, and Rack. And our product is applied in the many, many like uh, telecom, PC, notebook, and VGA, automotive, and servers. So before we start to talk about today's topic, I would like to show a short video that highlight our new technology this year. Okay, thanks for watching. So when you come to the AI cooling, uh, AI liquid cooling, we focus on the seven key components, 
The first one is CoPlay. We can customize CoPlay with a custom knee. Also, we provide the standard ones that uh, can support to different chip. And second one is a quick connector. We do the quick connector compatibility test to understand which blend is good. And the third one is in-rack CDU RPU. Our in-rack CDU RPU can support to high wattage and higher flow rate. And next is our new design AI manifold for building and rack. And this manifold comes with a smart feature that automatically responds to the variable like leak, temperature, and pressures. And lastly is we have a sidecar and the CDU. In row CDU, sorry. So we can put a cooling capacity to the higher wattage level. Now, let me introduce the feature of each list. So I'm gonna to start with the CoPlay first. We not only provide the CoPlay, we also can provide a whole traces thermal solution, which including CoPlay, internal manifold, and quick connector. We offer a variety of, de of design with a low pressure drop and high performance, including CPU plus memory card, such as Birch or SP7 with a DDR5. Also, the data show here are the different chip type, performance, and wattage that we can support. For GPU, we have a B200 and the MI300X. And for the mix type, we have a GB200 design. And all these are the standard products. And also, we can provide the customer requirement based on the customer need. So next, I want to introduce our UQT technology, which help us understand how compatibility with a different brand. So we do the three tests to check the compatibility and performance. First one is the endurance test. This video shows how our testing machine to do the test. And the second test is check for any issue with the material. And the last one, thermal shock test, is that we want to figure out the product will fail under the extreme condition or not. So after doing all tests, all of these tests, the result helped us to make the right choices for UQD. And moving on to our most popular product, the AI rack manifold. It's not a traditional manifold that just distributes the flow. It also can monitor the operate status of each chassis, like leak, pressures, and temperatures. So this video demo the leakage happen. It can isolate the affected chassis without shutting down the whole system. And once it receives the recover signal, it returns to the normal operation. So this operation can all be discounted and decided based on your requirements. And it will be released more information at the end of this year. OK. So as cooling capacity increases, we have improved the performance of our CDU and RPU. Our air to liquid cooling can support to 20 kilowatt. And our liquid to liquid CDU can support to 100 kilowatt. And for the next generation, our liquid to liquid CDU can support increase to 20, 200 kilowatt. And our RPU, the maximum flow rate is 110 LPM. Now, let me move on to the, so from the component level to the system level. So I would like to introduce our high performance heat exchanger product, the sidecar. 
It provides 140 kilowatt of cooling capacity and 12,000 CFM. And NAT LPM with 11 degrees Celsius approach temperature. And it has 16 redundant fan support and with five plus one redundant power supply. And it has one plus one redundant power shift, two plus one redundant DC pumps. And it has internal leak detection and monitoring system. The control system, we have a web, mobile, redfish, and IPMI. And its power consumption is 10 kilowatt. So this is size of this unit for your reference. So for the higher voltage demand, we recommend use the in-row CDU. So this cooling capacity can support to 1.6 megawatt with 1,600 LPN at uh, 5 degrees Celsius approach temperatures. It has one plus one pump redundant design, and it has internal leak detection system. And it has visible water supply option from the bottom or the top. In control system, we have web, mobile, redfish, IPMI, and the RS485. And this is the size of this unit for your reference. Finally, we, with the experience in the RAC AI manifold, we copy and explain our AI manifold product line from the in rack to in row. The new AI building manifold provides the same function as the AI rack manifold. For example, using the AI building manifold, we can monitor and track the operating status of every IT rack. If there are any issue detects, the liquid supply will cut off immediately to ensure the system stability. And we will release more information in the first quarter of 2028. 25. 25. Oh, so, sorry, 2025. <laughs> now we are ready to move on to the QX section. And ple please feel free to ask any question that you may have. And you can scan QR code to get our more information. Thank you.